Hello, I'm Carly McAvoy. I wanted to work out a few more problems uh, using applications of proportions. And so when you're working these out, some of the common ones that might come up might be shadow length to actual height of something, map distance compared to the actual distance, that's like scale drawing type of thing, cost compared to some item, or small triangle compared to a large triangle if you're comparing two triangles. So those are the things that you want to think about. So the first one, it says to measure the height of a tree, ecologists measure the shadow of the tree and compare it to the shadow of an object with a known height. How tall is a tree with a shadow of 162 feet if a 10 foot pole next to it has a shadow of 16.5 feet? Um, round your answer to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to say that T is, is my variable in this case, which is going to be the height of the tree. And so I'm comparing the shadow to the object. Shadow length to object height is going to have here, but here I'm just abbreviating and I do this so that I get I don't get the numbers in the wrong place. So first of all, I know that I have a tree with a 162 foot shadow. So I want to put the shadow 162 on the top and the tree, which I said was T on the bottom of the length. And then if I look at the second part, a 10 foot pole has a shadow that's 16.5. So the shadow 16.5 has to go on the top. Shadow goes on the top all the way across and the object height goes along the bottom, which in this case was 10. So if you notice the object, our pole had a shadow longer than itself. So when we find this, we should find that the tree is shorter than its shadow too. It's a proportion, so it should be proportionate. So to solve this, I'm going to cross multiply by multiplying diagonally across 16.5 times t gives me 16.5t and 162 times 10 gives me 1620. To simplify from here, I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient, which is 16.5. I do that to both sides and 16.5 cancels itself out here to 1, leaving just t. And then I just have to divide the other side on my calculator to see that I get 98.18 repeating. And then I have to look back to my directions and it says round your answer to the nearest tenth. And if I do, then I can see that that would be 98.2 or the tree is about 98.2 feet tall, which is indeed shorter than its shadow. In the second example, I have if three bottles of ketchup cost $8.28, how much would you pay for seven bottles of ketchup? Set up a proportion to solve. I'm going to use C as my unknown, and that is the cost of seven bottles of ketchup. So I'm going to compare the cost to the bottles. So when, it, when I bought three bottles, it cost $8.28. So my cost, $8.28, over at my bottles, three. And the next thing I know is I have seven bottles, but I don't know the cost. So again, I want to write cost and bottle over here, make sure cost is always on the top and bottles always on the bottom. If you were to invert this and put bottle over cost, you get the same answer, but you have to be consistent. Cost has to go all the way across. Bottle has to go all the way across. We're going to cross multiply again, 3 times C and 8.28 times 7. And then once we get that, 8.28 times 7 was 57.96. We're going to divide both sides by the coefficient. And the coefficient does not C, it's 3. And so 3's cancel, leaving C. And 57.96 divided by 3 gives us... 19.32 and so C was the cost of seven bottles of ketchup so seven bottles of ketchup will cost $19.32 that one came out exactly nicely to the hundreds typically we do ask you to round to the nearest cent or hundredth when you're working with money because that's how they do it at the grocery store so you do yours the same way and the last question says a recipe a cookie recipe calls makes 24 cookies and calls for three and a half cups of flour how many cups of flour would you need to make 300 cups F is the number of cups of flour we need for 300 cookies. So I'm using F in here, and I've chosen to put flour over cookies. Again, you could put cookies over flour. It's going to give you the same answer if you're consistent all the way across. So I'm going to cross multiply 24 times F and 3.5 times 300. That gives me 24F equals 1,050. And then I want to divide both sides of my equation by 24 because that's the coefficient here next to the f and if i ca ca cancel those out i just get f and 1050 divided by 24 is 43.75 so i need 43 and three quarters or 0.75 cups to a flour to make 300 cookies all right have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time